morning, YouTube. I have a 600 watt power station from Rock Pals. Let's see what all is in here. I assume this is the charging cable. This plugs into the uh, front of the power station and this plugs into 110 and that's how you charge it or you can charge it with your car while you're driving, 12 volt. And another, uh, this is what they call an Anderson plug. I probably wouldn't need that, but um, that plugs in if you have a Rock Pals um, solar panel. It goes from the solar panel to the uh, front of the power station. So nosy. Okay. <laughs> you coming back for more? Say hi. And again. <laughs> it's all about me. Okay. So, they usually come completely charged. Um, here is a 12 volt port to plug in your 12 volt devices. Here is the um, input for charging it, either with the 110 or the Anderson plug that comes with it. And let's see, this is how you turn on the screen. You usually have to hold it in for a few seconds. It is 65% charged. And let's, you are just a pill. Um, AC, alternate current. I'm not sure. Not sure where. Oh, maybe there's an uh, port. Ah, uh, yes, the AC ports are on the back. There's three. No, Parker, it is not for you. And then. You have um, two USB ports, one USB. <laughs> hey, hey, can I finish here? You're kind of in the way. Hey, go night night. Go on. Thank you. No, that's not night night. Okay. And, and, it. <laughs> 18 watt, um, I really don't have any idea. That's called a USB AQC port and a USB C port. And that's for people who have the um, phones with the C plug at both ends. <laughs> I don't. I use the USB port. 
um, to pl to charge my phone. And um, so let's see. Let's see what all they say about this. Okay, you can charge it from a solar panel, from your carport. Um, my van and a lot of the newer vans have uh, one in the back or even more in the back also. Mine does, I love it. My van also has an AC outlet in the back. And, uh, oh, you can charge it. Oh, no, that's not for charging. That's not for charging. That's for charging your phone. Um, it will power <laughs> a GoPro, your camera, a tablet, a phone, a laptop, a drone, lights, TV, cooler, fan, and more. I personally found that my uh, smaller, um, my smaller uh, portable power stations aren't real um, powerful for for running a refrigerator. I mean, it'll run it just fine, but they use up quite a quite a bit of power. But mine that I bought are three hundred and fifty watts. So this is much more powerful. This is 600. This should run a refrigerator, one of your small refrigerators. And um, with solar uh, to charge it, you should have it all the time. It should work all the time, as long as you have sun, of course. But also remember, you can charge it while you're driving. I am really excited about this. As you know, I've received a couple other um, power stations, but you can never have too much power. I'm actually um, trading one of the ones that I bought, uh, the Flash Fish. I'm trading that with um, a friend, and I'm getting a noodle board. I'll show it to you when I get it. Um, anyway, I'm really excited to use this. Um, and this is a lithium battery, so you can um, use all the power. You can use it till it's depleted and then charge it right back up without hurting the battery. Unlike our deep cycle AGM batteries. So I'm going to go get one of my uh, refrigerators, my portable refrigerators, and plug it in. And there is one thing, a couple of, um, well, both of my flash fish when you plug it into the 12 volt thing here when the refrigerator um, stops using energy from the battery the flash fish turn off which you cannot have when you're trying and then that's it you your refrigerator turns off um, so i'm gonna see if this one does the same thing so um, I'll be back and let you know. Okay, so I've plugged in my refrigerator to the 12 volt because that is the most efficient use of the battery. The refrigerator, since it came out of my storage shed, is at 97 degrees. So it's going to take a while to get down to temperature and then that's when I'll know if this is continuous or not. And I plugged it into the wall so you can see right here that it's charging. Each one of those blocks is 20% and once it's charged 100% it will stop flashing. So um, you can tell that it is 66% charged because it tells you right there. And the refrigerator is um, pulling about 35 well it starts it keeps changing 32 watts 34 and then it goes down to 13 and so I'm not exactly sure what that means but it's a um, max of about 34 watts okay so a couple things about the battery is that it is a life PO4 lithium battery 
and it has approximately 2,000 life cycles at 80% capacity. That means if you car keep it charged at 80%, that you should get at least 2,000 cycles out of the battery, which is years. So also that if you're keeping it for emergency backup for home, you wanna charge it every three to six months because the um, battery will you know, lose its power while it's sitting on the shelf. So be sure to get it out and charge it every three to six months. Um, I have been, it's been a few hours and I'm still charging the battery and it's almost 100% charged. It's at 90% right now. And it's still connected, or it's still um, uh, powering the refrigerator. It's taking the refrigerator a long time to get down to temperature. So um, I'm really impressed with it. It has been drawing at least 34 amps um, the whole time, but it's charging beyond what it's taking, you know, what the refrigerator is using. So, um, I'll get back to you in a little bit. I said amps, I meant watts. Okay, it's drawing 32 watts. Okay, the um, power station is fully charged, even while it's got a constant draw from the refrigerator. Um, the refrigerator still isn't down to temperature, so I still can't test it to see if the 12 volt outlet is constant or not. So I'll get back to you. So the refrigerator has finally gotten to um, the temperature that I set it at, and this has stayed on for hours. So this will work with um, your 12 volt refrigerator. You don't have to use the 110, um, uh, you know, plugs in the back. So that's one thing I like about this. Remember in my flash fish, you could not use the 12 volt to uh, run your refrigerator. So anyway, I'm giving this a thumbs up, you guys. I will put the link and a uh, discount code in the description.